patience and a positive attitude. There is no such thing as a 100% smooth Hajj. In fact, my experience is that people that go with the super VIP groups and stuff like that, where you know they're supposed to bring the Kaaba to the hotel and you know all that stuff, you pay like 20 grand or something like that so that you can be nice and comfy throughout Hajj. They're often the most angry and disgruntled groups because they're so disappointed because there is no way to have a completely smooth hedge. Things are chaotic. You've got millions of people in this tiny area from all over the world. Things are all over the place, all right? It's never going to go your way. That's actually part of the ibadah of hedge. Seriously, is that when you get there, no matter how much you've prepared yourselves, you're going to have logistical hiccups throughout the process, no matter what group you're with, no matter what package you're with, it's going to happen. So really have that mindset that no matter what you do, that's going to happen regardless. And it's part of the test of your patience um, in Hajj. Lastly, uh, don't do what everybody else is doing at Hajj because a lot of it is wrong. That's sort of like our, actually most of it is wrong. That's sort of our safety net. And I see that happen to every single group. Every time you get there is that you get in there and you, you jump into that mess and then you realize that 90% of people are doing it, you know, doing this. So I should be doing that as well. So people are doing tawaf and then they stop at Maqam Ibrahim and they, they decide to just start rubbing on Maqam Ibrahim and rubbing their head all over and stuff like that. So you might think, okay, well, that's what I need to be doing as well. Or I need to kiss it like the black stone when I go by. Uh, you know, people, when they pass the black stone, it's, you know, you know, subhanAllah, it's a very simple gesture that we're supposed to, to give to acknowledge it. But people start going, you know, and all types of stuff like that. And they start like, sending all types of peace signs to the black stone and talking to it and taking a moment to interact from from a distance and stuff like that like every time there's this traffic as soon as you get to that area you know that part of tawaf realize again people they're very simple people illiterate people you know in many situations and i'm not saying that as an insult just people that are you know very simple that that are you know coming from all over the world and they're just you know immersed in their ibadah, if you will, and they're also doing what everybody else is doing. So don't do what everybody else is doing. Seriously. Don't even look at what everybody, you need to know what you're doing. And there are going to be times you're going to question yourself because you're like, wait a minute, I wasn't told that I was supposed to do this or do that. You weren't supposed to do this or that, right? So just make sure that you you keep to your own, um, your own knowledge and what you studied, inshallah ta'ala, uh, with your group leader as you go.